Welcome to Monaco Streaming Film Festival's Business for Smart TV series. I'm your host, Gavin Bridge, the Senior Media Analyst at Variety Intelligence Platform, and I'm joined today by Sean Doherty Jr., who's the Chief Operating Officer and Co-Founder of Well. Now, today we're going to be discussing an exciting new product that Well has just launched called Well Perform, and going a little bit into how this uses machine learning to achieve some quite amazing results. But before we get into that, let's begin with the basics. Sean, for those who don't know, what does Well do? Uh, thanks for having me. Um, I, I'm happy to, you know, kind of talk about talk about what World does, and then uh, looking forward to getting into Perform. Um, so, really, what we built at World is a network, um, and the our main customer, content companies, come to us for four main services. Uh, and this, I'll kind of give it in order of when we built each one. So, the first is really about distribution. It's helping content companies get their content to all of the new streamers that. Um, these content companies want to be on free ad-supported destinations, virtual MVPDs, all the different kind of places that you know people want to have their get their content to in a variety of forms: linear channel, VOD, ad-supported, not you know all different kinds of ways. Um, the second thing is really about advertising, and the advertising is kind of two pieces. The first was um, technically helping content companies get their own ads into you know in front of viewers on their content and so that's um you know it's all kinds of targeting and integration with with ad servers and uh measurement and all kinds of things related to you know sort of getting their ads into into their um into in on their content in front of viewers um and then the second piece was really about helping content companies fill the inventory that they were creating all of a sudden very quickly across all these new streamers and um so we built products to like ad pool to help them fill that inventory uh, if they couldn't. The third section is really about data. And so that's helping content companies collect, normalize, and analyze all this data that they're generating from all these different streamers to really help them answer questions, everything from uh, you know, value, the value of content and how they should think about that to questions like um, scheduling and distribution questions. What content should I put on which, distri you know, on which distribution? What's working in certain places? What's not? What time should I air certain content if it's a linear channel? All different kinds of, you know, kind of questions. And, and really, it's the collection and the normalization and then presenting that data to the customer in different ways that we help them do. And then finally, what we're going to talk about today is really about marketing. Um, and, you know, really helping content companies and streamers solve the problem of how do I acquire and retain viewers in this world of infinite choice. Viewers are very distributed and fragmented um, and that kind of thing, which I know we'll go into in a second. Yeah, that, I know that's been a, a, a problem for it's kind of a blessing and a curse the time we live in right now, I suppose, if you're a marketer, because, yeah. yes, it, it, in, in one way, it's a lot more difficult because you can't just be like, I'm going to buy this thing here and everything, my job is done. Exactly. But the splintering means you can really find an audience. It's just, you have to look for that audience. If, if yeah. you put the effort in, you can do it. So I believe perform is something that can make that whole process a lot easier. Is that correct? That's exactly right. And, and really perform is the, is the first, you know, sort of performance marketing service for these streamers. And to your point, exactly. Viewers are fragmented. They have a lot of choice, but there's but as a result of that choice, you know, there's audiences for everything. And but it's about how do you find that audience? How do you acquire that audience? And then how do you retain them once you know the sort of they've you know found you and come onto your platform? And so really, perform is the answer is our answer to that. And it's a machine learning powered uh, performance marketing service for these streamers to acquire and retain viewers. So. If I'm correct, right, ultimately perform can work for any type of streaming service. But like to, from what you're saying, I mean, I did research not so long ago and I found there's over, what was it, like a thousand and forty fast channels left just alone in the US. So yes, like I can <laughs> fragmented is like not even the right term anymore to describe the market. It's just yeah, it's been like I agree. <laughs> um, it's uh, it's it's exploding and and you know the main customer for perform is really the this you know SVOD and AVOD apps that are out there trying to acquire viewers. We we ran we've run campaigns for fast channels and we, you know we've kind of we operated we did a beta with quite a few fast channels to you know sort of 
work on the tech and prove the technology and it achieved amazing results. But, uh, you know, I think from a, if you look at the market and you look at um, the amount of money being spent from SVOD and AVOD apps, really, to acquire and gain viewers to those apps, they have lots of content, but acquiring and retaining viewers to those apps, tons of money is being spent there. They're churning customers quite frequently. They need methods to efficiently acquire and, uh, frankly, efficiently acquire viewers and, and then retain them to both, you know, sort of lower their customer acquisition costs and increase the lifetime value of a customer if they can do both of those things. So you're talking about efficiency. That, I think, is a, a very good way to, to bring in machine learning because for I, I imagine a lot of people might just know the term and not really know much else. So a basic, my basic understanding, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I won't, I won't be offended. Um, my basic understanding is let's say you're a service and you decide I'm going to get an expert in to program or to buy something. Or so let's say to program a channel. So you get me in to program something based on some topic on variety I've done. And I'm looking at it through my lens and everyone's like, oh, but he's an expert. He knows. Machine learning looks at everybody's behaviors and can basically achieve far more than any single person could ever do in terms of behavior-based uh, activity. That's exactly right. And, and to your, in, exactly to your example, you look at the world with a certain lens. We all do. We all have some sort of uh, you know, perspective and bias and things like that. Machine learning tech, the advantage of it is it doesn't. It just sort of looks at, you know, it looks at behavior and it looks at how people do things regardless of, you know, kind of any attributes, otherwise attributes about who they are or demographics, the geo. We don't, you know, know any of that. It's really just about understanding what are people doing and what are they, and then under, and then the machine learning is really about what are they likely to do next. And so, and so that, you know, what are they likely to do next is really where perform comes into play and, you know, by running these campaigns, these viewers or these, you know, streamers are able to sort of tap into that machine learning potential to find those viewers that are the most likely to become viewers of their streamer. So is that what Perform does? Perform looks at viewing habits of everyone it can, who's available to it and then determines X, Y and Z. If you watch this kind of thing, you're going to watch that or you'll be interested in this other type of thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically close to that. It really what it's doing is as we run these perform campaigns and, at, you know, people are seeing these ads for, you know, watch, you know, so-and-so channel or watch some, you know, subscribe to an SVOD service or watch this piece of content on an SVOD service, we're measuring the results of that, of that ad. So if, you know, five people see the ad, one of those people becomes a subscriber or becomes a viewer of whatever that piece of content is. We're measuring the results of what, you know, of how that works. And then using that, you're then refining the targeting as you go along. So you realize, okay, well, if that person, you know, converted to becoming a viewer, then these other 10 people, you know, their percentage of potential, potentially converting went up. And so that you're basically just sort of running this iterative process to constantly refine, refine, refine this target, the targeting of these ads to get to a point where you understand these people are the most likely to convert. And it allows the, the marketer to be then substantially more efficient than just let's run a lot of ads all over the place. Some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. It is what it is. And, you know, some, you know, X return on ad spend. In our case, you know, the perform service is really achieving a kind of a massive return on ad spend on average 4X. And that's kind of unheard of when it comes to the marketing, particularly in CTV. And so, you know, we're, it's achieving amazing results. And the ML is the machine learning is really what's driving that. Well, what do you think could be like some other applications you could use the uh, machine learning that you're using, you're having in place in Perform? Like, because right yeah. now you're using it for more for like program awareness. Is that correct? Or like sh or channel awareness? Yeah, Perform's really about, I mean, in its current iteration, it's really understanding the targeting and it's really understanding sort of, sort of your behavior. And that's really what it's focused on. I mean, I think there's the machine applications of machine learning in general are broad. You know, they can be used for all kinds of different processes. I think, you know, in our case specifically, we listen to our customers as we sort of develop these products and what, you know, what we do and when we do it. And each one from, you know, sort of distribution to the advertising to data to now marketing 
has been as a result of understanding the pain points of our customers and what can we do to sort of help them solve that problem. I know that there will be other things that we hear from our customers that where you know machine learning can be used to improve their results, improve their efficiency in all kinds of ways. Whether it be on the advertising side or on any you know within any of the other verticals that you know I've mentioned, I think there's you know kind of broad applications of machine learning in all. Of them. Uh, this might be a stupid question, so forgive me. Um, what is the difference between like an out? Al- do you remember let's say 2014 when algorithm was all the rage, right? When Netflix was using algorithms and it was yielding yeah. all these results. What's the difference between a traditional algorithm? And something that's been built with like the processes that you're using at Perform. Yeah, that's a good question. And I think the main the main difference is that the machine learning is iterative. It's using what happens to inform what's going to happen later, and w- or what it decides to do later. Algorithms are really used for ranking things, and 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 potentially used for ranking the you know correlation of you to a piece of content in the Netflix case, for example. What's you know what's your potential correlation? But but what you need to do is have a machine learning system behind that, such that all of the new data that you're generating on Netflix informs what's what you know is going to happen and what it's going to show you later. And so that you know the kind of machine learning aspect of constantly iterating and constantly running this and using it to then inform what's going to happen later is really the sort of big benefit of that you know, sort of machine learning versus more of a static algorithm, which, you know, obviously was all the rage and can, you know, continues to be extremely powerful, but machine learning is only additive to that. So once it's turned on, it's basically always on and always learning. Exactly. Yeah. It's always, it's, it's, it's always looking to figure out how it can serve you better, how it can serve you better content and serve or serve you more, tar- you know, better advertising or things like that. And in the perform case, it results in, you know, instead of seeing ads for things that you don't really care about or that you don't really want to watch, you know, the ads end up being for things that you probably that you'd be interested in watching. And it, you know, potentially opens your eyes to content that you didn't know existed or you heard of once and kind of forgotten about or, you know, all those sorts of things that uh, as there's, you know, as we mentioned, there's problems for marketers finding viewers. There's also viewers finding content problems that I think, you know, the perform service helps it sounds like it could be a pretty powerful competitive advantage for for you guys um what has been the reactions of your your client base who've used perform yeah the the i mean as i mentioned we ran a sort of beta campaign initially um and we had about 25 customers that participated in it and it the results were amazing and you know, I think the better, the, the best way to understand whether you know how they reacted and things like that is whether our customers keep coming back. You know, this isn't sort of a one and done sort of a service. It's more of a constantly iterative and constantly additive, you know, sort of a service that companies can run as they introduce new content, introduce new streamers, you know, all those sorts of things. And so, you know, luckily the response has been extremely positive. Customers are coming back. They're very happy with the results. The return on ad spend, as I mentioned, is is very high, and they're finding that it's you know one of the best ways they have of acquiring and retaining viewers to their applications. So I guess um, we should expect to see more more features, including this, probably from everyone at some point in the future. But for now, um, perform is really doing a, a great job of harnessing what I guess is a, a very future facing technology. Yeah, I mean, we know, you know, the pace of innovation is always, uh, you know, moving quickly. And, you know, ours is the you know, sort of first performance based marketing service for CTV. I'm sure there will be others at some point. But we know that and, you know, we're constantly trying to lead the industry into new things. And we'll keep doing that and keep staying ahead, uh, as we've done in, you know, kind of our other vehicles and as we've done with Perform. Well, that's really, really interesting. I, I think that's all about time that we, we have today but i want to say thank you for for taking part and also for discussing this technology because it really i, I hope for anyone who was listening who didn't really understand machine learning for instance it's, it's giving you a good case study but it's also excellent um use in in practice i wish you all the best success going forwards thanks a lot thanks kevin thanks everybody <laughs>